Welcome to Good Mythical More. What's inside this Furby? Don't freak out. But you're being followed by a pack of extremely curious cats. But don't freak out. And don't freak out, but they're completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> and don't freak out. Uh, because they're not those hairless ones, which would actually be a little disconcerting. Yeah. They're just furred cats, but they are naked and they do have cat-like genitals. And don't freak out, but they're walking in reverse butthole first. Oh, don't freak out. <laughs> it kind of feels like all their tails are uh, coming up in unison, like they're about to excrete something onto you, but don't freak out. Don't freak out, can cats do that? <laughs> Yeah, skunk cats can. I'm freaking out! All right, um, we're gonna play a nice little game of real and, f real and fake. Real, real and, and fake, fake what? Real and fake last words. Speaking of last words, man, we just executed this Furby and I'm, I'm oscillating between um, just being Joy? happy and being like ecstatic. No, it, it was sad for a moment. It was a little bit sad when the, his eyes just cut through this thing closed just, and life was just gone. You want to know what's inside of her? Yank out the innards, man. Yeah. Look at that. That's not. Yeah, that uh, takes needs, a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't want to cut myself. But I will say. Can you see that? Just look, I'm gonna look at it. There's a wire harness right there. Yeah, that's been cut. That, that was, was severed. completely severed, and oh, look, I think that that's, there's a Lego. It's a freaking Lego inside of a Furby. Yeah, every, the, the, the heart of every Virgo, Virgo, <laughs> Furby is a Lego, Virgo. All right, let's 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 see the first one. Uh, is this a real or fake famous last word uh, from Nostradamus? Famous for predicting stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, his, famous for his book of 942 prophecies. Uh, his last words were, Tomorrow at sunrise, I shall no longer be here. Get it? Is that a joke, or did he really predict his Fake. own death? I mean, that would be in a the good end, joke, was he was he trying to be predictive? That would just be a cute joke. One last that prophecy. That wasn't what note was what we I called him was about. I, I think he had Nost. a sense of humor. I'm going to say real. It's real. What? Yeah, he was a little cutie pie. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that little was, cutie pie said that little cute little thing. You know. Speaking of cutie pie, look what I've got on. I was a teenage mythical beast. Very cool shirt. We sell it because we designed it. As a team, me not personally, but available at mythical.com. Get yours. It's very comfy. Uh Cleopatra Rhett, this iconic queen of Egypt famously offed herself by letting a snake bite and release deadly venom. That's a cool way to go. Rather than be paraded around after being captured by the enemy. Though reports of her final words can't be confirmed as the servants in the room committed suicide as well, one telling claims her last utterance was, oh, that hurts, because of the snake bite. <laughs> so we're, we're not asking if this really happened, we're asking if this is something you guys made up or if this is a claim that exists somewhere else ooh, that in the hurts. rumor mill. Is it ooh or oh that hurts? Oh that hurts. Oh that hurts. Did I say ooh? No, but I heard ooh in my mind. Well I'm gonna say fake. I'm definitely saying this is fake. There's no way that this Y'all made this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Ellie, you, you did have me until what the last words actually were. <laughs> oh that hurts. <laughs> and then. But she yeah. probably did say something like that. I wanted to put ouchie. <laughs> Louis Marie Therese de Saint Maurice, Comtesse de Versailles. What? Mm. A widowed countess who passed away uh, from a form of breast cancer in the late 18th century was surrounded by friends and family as she lay dying. In her last moments, she let loose a gnarly fart, about which she said, Good, a woman who can fart is not dead. She died soon thereafter. So what's her name? That's real, man. And, and you know what? A woman who can fart is not dead. If you're there on my deathbed. That's true. Remind me of this and I'll conjure one up for you. Why would I be on your deathbed? If you're there when I'm on my deathbed. Oh, all right. I, did I say that the first time? 
If I'm there when you're on your deathbed? Well, you kind of were you're on my deathbed. that Link was also on the bed <laughs> with you. If you want to lay next to me on my deathbed, it's okay. I won't mind. So you're both saying this is real? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, you're both right. Right, of course, yes. <laughs> All right, next one. Thomas B. Moran was an infamous pickpocket. No, that's Thomas B. Moron. <laughs> no, Moran, Moran. Was a famous pickpocket known by the nickname Butterfingers in the press. He reportedly stole as many as 50,000 wallets in his career and before he died, his last words were, quote, I've never forgiven that reporter who named me Butterfingers. To me, it's not funny. Fake. Is Ellie laughing? Because yeah. she's laughing at her own joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then why don't you say real? I don't know, let me give it a look at it and see how it strikes. It's me. not funny to me. Yeah, I mean the joke's funny. That's a, that's I'm it's, just it's fake. It's fake. Imitating. You're both wrong. It's real. Ellie's oh, so laughing. You're an actor. You know what? Be huh? more in. Ellie, way not way to not laugh at a joke that you didn't write. Captain William Kidd. James Morris. <laughs> was a notorious privateer turned pirate. He was also the great, 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 great grandfather of famous NBA player Jason Kidd. <laughs> Read the, stick to the card. several ships and reportedly killing a, a member of his crew with a bucket. He was eventually a arrested, bucket? tried, and before his execution, his last words were, my treasure on, is on the island. This is the basis of Treasure Island. <laughs> and a lot of fruitless searching. My treasure is on the island. That's real. He real. killed a guy with a bucket. That's real, man. How does one kill with a bucket? Uh, you hit somebody enough times with a bucket. Or you take the bucket and put it over them for long enough. Okay. If, if the bucket has water and you put the head in it, is that killing with a bucket or drowning? Uh, exactly. That's what we're gonna do the Furby next time. This is fake. Oh, shoot. What if that had to work? I was trying to stab that under there. James Morris was a circus freak. Born in New York in the 1800s with an ability to stretch his skin to unbelievable lengths due to a genetic condition. He toured with P.T. Barnum's circus and eventually fell victim to addiction but always kept a sense of humor, even as he lay dying. His last words were, Looks like I can't stretch this out any longer. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Real. Oh. In fact, it is completely fake. <laughs> <laughs> that All right, was, so now you're tied up. Good. That would've been good. It's cheating that Rhett can see me. <laughs> uh, I mean. No, Don't look at Ellie. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I, haven't, but I, haven't, I haven't yet looked at her. You ever played seven up in grade school? <laughs> Do that. Pancho Villa was a Mexican revolutionary general and considered a hero for fighting against and leading revolutions against two different dictator regimes within Mexico. 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 But as those things go, he eventually was assassinated and reportedly his last words were, don't let it end like this. Tell them I said something important. They didn't do that. That um, sounds real, man. I, I, I know the answer to this because I was there. It's real. It is real. It all comes down to this, Rhett. We are tied three to three. Is this the poncho that Poncho on Lefty's about? Four to four. Four to four, I'm sorry. A great song by the late, great Merle Haggard and uh, Willie Nelson. Written by Towns Van Zant. Written by Towns Van Zant. Uh, Carl Jingold convicted of killing his stepfather and sentenced to death, took the moment before his execution to look down as if toward hell and yell out, told you you weren't my dad, and blew a loud raspberry. <laughs> told ya you weren't my dad, raspberry. <laughs> convicted of killing his stepfather, Rhett. I'm sticking with the real because of the raspberry part. I've never heard Ellie That's just use the term raspberry not referring to the fruit. <laughs> that doesn't seem real to me. 
seems fake with an E. It is fake. <laughs> so is Carl. So, can I win the Furby? Congrat, yeah, you get to take the Furby home. Bring out your inner beast with the B-movie inspired teenage mythical beast tea, available at mythical.com.